On March 18, 2014, Russian President Vladimir Putin gave a speech to the chambers of the Federal Assembly of the Russian Federation regarding the request for admission by the Crimean Parliament to the Russian Federation. The speech took place in the St. George Hall of the Grand Kremlin Palace in the Moscow Kremlin. At the beginning of the speech, Putin said that a referendum was held in full compliance with democratic procedures and rules of international law, and that the numbers supporting the entry of Crimea to the Russian Federation were very convincing. He noted that the Crimean Tatars suffered cruel injustices in the Soviet era, together with the other peoples, and said that after the Crimean Tatars have returned to their land, new solutions for the rehabilitation of their Crimean Tatar people are required, with three proposed official languages for Crimea, Russian, Ukrainian and Crimean Tatar. Putin stressed that in the heart of the Crimean people, Crimea has always been an integral part of Russia. The Bolsheviks included a significant amount of historical Russian southern land into the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic without taking into account their demographics of its population. Also mentioned was the 1954 transfer of Crimea from the Russian SFSR. Putin claimed this decision was made in violation of constitutional norms. Behind the scenes, in a totalitarian state, where residents of Crimea weren't consulted, he went on to condemn the West's reaction to the events in Crimea and sanctions against Russian and Ukrainian politicians. Putin assured that Russia will not seek confrontation with the West and East, and stressed that Russia and Ukraine are one people, saying as millions of Russian citizens live in Ukraine, Russia will always defend their interests. In the speech, he also promised that Russia had no intention of invading other regions of Ukraine, saying, We don't want a division of Ukraine, we don't need that, a promise that aged like milk. The speech lasted 45 minutes in all.